Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have something just a little bit different. As you can see beside me, we have a brand new kit to build, and it's from a lesser known brand that some of you may know, some of you might be hearing for for the first time, but I don't expect it's the last you're going to hear of them. In fact, I think you're going to hear a lot more about them, and especially on this channel. What we have here is the brand new PR Racing V4 TR two-wheel drive stadium truck and I do believe that these rigs will rival some of the more well-known brands out there to the point that with my local model shop the team drivers used to race team associated vehicles have now swapped the PR racing buggies. The build quality is supposed to be second to none. The four-wheel drive buggies actually come with a center diff and a slipper clutch so you can change between racing on carpet or racing on the dirt and not many other brands offer that tunability. PR Racing were established back in 2008 and to be honest I hadn't heard anything about them until recently until my local model shop Model Tune of Portadown here in Northern Ireland became sole distributor for the UK and Ireland. The stock a full range of kits and a full range of spares and the owner Andrew has kindly given me his brand new truck and he's going to let me build it, do a review, a run test, and hopefully take it a few laps of our local track and I will be able to report how the build goes, how durable it is, and what I actually think of the truck itself. I've searched YouTube and can't find very much information on these cars out there, and I think it is a shame because I love to see new vehicles and new companies having a stab, and I do think this is going to be something special. Let's get the box open, see what's inside, and start the build. This is the first I've actually looked in this, so you're getting to see what happens as it happens in real life. And upon opening the box, we're met with what appears to be black and white printed and bound manual. Good clear images, clear writing, and uh, I guess as we go through the build, we're going to see how good it is but they definitely seem to have a nice breakdown of all the components and how to build it but time will tell you also have a nice comprehensive sticker kit which I'm not sure if these are pre-cut or not we might it's hard to tell looking at this we might need to cut the stickers out which I'm not a fan of, it would be great if you just had to pick these off and peel them off but it's not the end of the world, we'll get a closer look at that when the time comes it does come with what feel to be very high quality wheels and I will not mess you guys about, if I think something is quality I will let you know and if I think it's cheap I will also let you know Seems to have included velcro, whether that's for the body or something else, I don't know, but we will find out. Aluminum or aluminium, body shocks. Again, we'll go into more details as we go. All the diff components, everything nicely bagged. Obviously, fully ball raced. The chassis bag. Turnbuckles, rod ends, and suspension arms. And it looks like we have carbon fiber shock tires and stuff as well. And they, they may have what I think is a fantastic looking body, which will be getting painted in Andre's very own racing colours, which I won't be doing, may I add. We are going to get that shipped out to a local painter and get a proper job done of this thing. And let's go ahead, get the bag A opened and make a start. Oh, last but not least, the wing. Right, let's go ahead get this started I do believe we're going to be in for a long day so tag along and uh, see how this goes 
joined today by my two golden fever dogs and they're being idiots outside and currently in here it's about 30 degrees and the sweat is absolutely lashing off me so let's go ahead make a start get bag a opened which is the chassis and chassis guard real installation we get the first bag cut open i always like to take the bags and put them back in the box not throw them in the bin just in case you have missed the part and it's still stuck in the bag somewhere so first look at the chassis it's everything that you would expect from a quality build nice machine work and very nice what looks to be satin anodizing so quality buddy kit let's get on first bit done so far so good everything went together perfectly as you'd expect right so i haven't really got a servo to suit so i've just put the servo blocks on and we'll skip the next part which i believe is the front a arms and the front assembly so let's go ahead get that one done so far it's been a sweet build absolutely nothing complicated as you'd expect from a high quality build so yeah so far so good let's move on both sides built up nice and smooth buttery And now we are on to the carbon fiber front shock tower and i do know if you really wanted to you could protect all of this carbon fiber by going around with the likes of a cotton bud and a drop of ca glue to seal it which i might do but that is a matter of personal preference okay so we're going to rewind a minute as this isn't my build i wasn't sure what andy wanted to do but anytime i'm working with carbon fiber this is just raw and has been cut as you can see it's nice and shiny and smooth here but you can see where it's all been laminated along here and what i tend to do is sand the edges down on the parts where it means the most and use a drop of ca glue around the edge and seal the edges that will stop it from delaminating especially with a, an off-road vehicle where the chances are you might scuff the edges of the shock towers and to save getting the glue all over the other parts, I'm just going to take it back off again and seal the edges. What you're aiming for is a nice smooth edge. You don't want to feel a sharp edge. You just want to knock the high spots off with a little bit of sandpaper. Give it a wipe down and then you're good to go and if this goes according to plan you only want a small amount and you can just run it around the edge And you'll see the bead you can just run it round and follow the drip the whole way round Just round to the edge to where you've sanded it. 
and just keep moving it around to try and stop any big drips forming until it dries. If you're a perfectionist, you can wait till it dries. Give it a light sand with some really fine sandpaper and just keep going again until you get the desired finish that you want. So that's pretty much the finish you're looking for there. As you can see, the edges of that is nice and shiny compared to the original, which is there. I've just done from there all the way around to here. And there's no real point in doing down here. And there's no point in doing these wee steering links around here because it's just not going to get the same abuse as your shock tower as well. So there's not much more I can do other than set this down, let it dry, and then I'll continue on with the build. So there we have it, this concludes the first part of the PR Racing V4 TR Stadium truck and what a fantastic build it was. Not one part missing, nothing needed modified and it just went together like butter. What a fantastic build. I was expecting it but sometimes whenever you expect something to be really good you get let down and it's not as good as all the hype but for a lesser known brand I can 100% say this is on par with some of the higher end builds that I do. I would class out of them all prior to this. Techno was the best build that I'd ever done for just ease of use, the manual and the way it goes together. Other than a couple of silly wee spelling mistakes in the manual, this I would say even tops the Techno. There was nothing about it, it was difficult. The instructions were clear, everything was there and yeah, fantastic build. Obviously, I can't comment on durability because I haven't got it running yet and Techno and Mugen are hard to beat but I am going to head down this evening to Rennick's Model Tune in Portadown to show this to Andrew and all being well, pick up all the electronics that's needed to complete it and also the shell that has been painted by a professional and let me tell you something, I've seen a sneak picture and it is fantastic looking so join me in part 2 when I hopefully have all the electronics in get the uh, new body shell on, get the, the tires and foams in and I can take this for a rip around the local track. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and I'll see you in part two.